Hello dear friends, this is a beautiful, not so beautiful, cloudy Sunday morning. So let's read a story. This one is Bai Xiao Er, Tou Ya. Bai Xiao Er is a person's name, this uh, little boy's name. He does not look like so little, right? This is the problem of the painting, I think. He did the... the it, it does not look so much like a little boy, but anyway. <clears throat> so this guy, his name is Bai Xiao Er. It means Bai is his family name, Xiao Er is number two. So he must be, I guess, he must be the number two boy of, or, or number two, uh, the number two of uh, child of the Bai's family. Tou ya, tou is still, ya is dark. So the story is about this, uh, this boy stealing a duck. I like this painting, it's a Chinese style painting. Once upon a time in a village this village is called Bai's village and uh, it's a small little tiny village beautifully located uh, near the water on the side of water by the river bank and close to the mountain. It's a hidden paradise in the world and uh, in this uh, village there are only uh, 10, 20, 30 families living there. Did I use past tense? Okay. Uh, there were 10, 20 or 30 families living there. So they lived happily and since this was such a small tiny village, everybody knew everybody. So anything happened at the east side of the village will be known, uh, would be known immediately at the end of the far west side of the village. So everybody knew everything. And in this village there was uh, uh, a boy. His name is Bai Xiao Er the number two child of Bai's family. He only had this name, but actually he did not have parents. So I did not know what happened uh, when he was young. Maybe his parent, parents died, or maybe they, they could not afford him. He was an orphan, and he lived a very simple, very poor life. But since the whole village are very, the people in the village were very kind, so he never had problem of starvation. This family would give him a cup of uh, uh, a bowl of rice. Another family would give him a steamed bun or something. So he lived uh, uh, just okay. Okay? So he lived by himself, but not a really rich life, of course. So one day he passed by uh, one family. And this family was Bai Qi Ye's family. Bai means white. Qi means seven. Ye is grandfather or, or an older generation. So he went to number seven's grandfather's of Bai's family's house. Okay, let's just call. It's an it's a it's a man. Uh, his name is Bai Qi Ye. He passed by Bai Qi Ye's house and he found several ducks, ya zi, gua, 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 ya zi. And that night, 
白小二 he was so hungry, so he was looking at the duck, and then he was thinking, he was thinking of roasted duck, and that would be so delicious. So, you know what he did? Yes. So, when he sneaked and looked around, and he found nobody was looking at him, then pew, he stole one duck and ran away. He ran, 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 ran until the top of the mountain, and very hiddenly he hid himself in the mountain, and uh, he made up the fire and burned some fire and roasted the duck and it was so 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 delicious and he finished the duck in no time immediately nom, 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 nom. he finished then a big duck he had finished in no time but what would he do with the rest? There were still bones and uh, and some leftover hair or something, feather or something. So he dig a hole and uh, a big, huge pine tree. He dig, dug a hole and uh, buried everything and made a surface like what he had found this place. So there was nothing left. He hid everything. He had hidden everything. And then ding, 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 ding. Bai Xiaofan went back to the river, to the, to the village by the riverside. So in the night, Bai Xiaofan went to sleep. It was dark in the night. Late in the night, it was dark, and Bai Xiao Er slept. But in the night, he found something very strange. He felt very itchy in his body. You know what happened? Oh, there were gray and white feather on his body. Wow, this must be the revenge of his bad deed. He did bad thing, he got revenge, I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so he got feather on his body and he was feeling so itchy and so pain. He tried to pull it out and as soon as he touched the feather, the feather became even more pain and really it ached so much, ached so much, he could not do, know what, what to do. And, uh, and the more he worried, the stronger the feather grows and it all over covered his whole body. Oh, Bai Xiao Er was so, so, so scared. He did not dare to go out. He did not dare to go to the street because if somebody saw him had feather on his body, people must know he had stolen things. So he had a bad dream. Oh, in the night, you see, he had a really bad dream. He was dreaming, there came an old immortal, a saint, and came to tell him, came to tell him what? This old guy said, Bai Xiao Er, you did very, very, very wrong thing. You did very, very bad thing. Now, you are getting your revenge. And the only thing you get rid of this feather is that you ask Bai Qi Ye 
the owner of the duck and confess to him and tell him that you have stolen and ask him to forgive you and ask him to call your name all over the street as loud as possible and curse all your bad deed. So the second morning, Bai Xiao Er woke up and he woke up, but he did not dare to go out to the street. He was thinking everybody would know that it was he himself stole the duck. How could he live in this street if everybody knew that he was a thief? So he did not dare to go out to the street. But Bai Xiao Er found another method. He realized that in their street there was a uh, one guy who is kind of uh, I don't know mentally disordered or, or, or not smart enough a guy. And uh, he was thinking, I must blame, I must go to blame Bai Da Hai. His name is Bai Da Hai. I must blame him. I would tell Bai Qi Ye, and it's this guy, Bai Da Hai, it's Bai Da Hai, this guy, this uh, not smart guy stole the duck. So he told Bai Qi Ye, somebody stole your duck. And this guy is Bai Qi Ye. Uh, no, it's Bai Da Hai, it's this guy. And Bai Qi Ye heard. And he thought, well, this guy lived a poor life already, a miserable life. So it's just a duck, it's okay. So he didn't care. So when Xiao Er, Bai Xiao Er heard this, he was feeling really, really, really sorry. He regret so much. And he thought, yeah, Bai Qi Ye, Qi Ye, you are so generous. And it is actually me did the bad thing. And you are so generous, not blaming other people. Bai Qi Ye, please, you call my name very loud. And Bai Qi Ye said, okay, now you already confessed to me. And um, I think that's good enough. You know you did the wrong thing. I forgive you. And then Bai Xiao Er said, no, 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 please call my name, please call my name, blame me, curse me, criticize me, do anything, and say bad thing about me. And this is what you must do to relieve me from the pain. So Bai Xiao Er told Bai Qi Ye, told him the story, told him that he had a dream and the only cure for him to get rid of his pain, his feather, is that Bai Qi Ye needed to call his name. So all the ducks, quack, 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 the ducks also call, called Bai Qi Ye, please do so, quack, 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 please call him, quack, 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 he did bad thing, quack, 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 we should punish him. So Bai Qi Ye thought, Maybe I should call his name. Let me try to do that. So he called Bai Xiao Er's name. You are a bad thief. Hey, did you know what happened? Some feather came down. You did such a bad thing. You should not do this. And then more feathers came down. And See, this is the revenge from heaven. If you continue to do this, you will always be punished. And now I call your name, see what will happen, and see what you will do next time. Do you remember you will never do this? If you do this, you will have your feather all over your body. Just as Bai Qi Ye called his name, 
called by Shahar's name and the feather all disappeared and by Shahar became a normal boy again and he was so happy and all the ducks was also all the ducks were also happy because Bai Xiaoer got his punishment. Now Bai Qiye realized one thing. So when somebody did wrong thing, just be generous and ignore is not a good solution. Sometimes when there is bad thing happen, you need to stand up, you need to shout out and blame that bad thing and put shame to that bad thing. And in return, it's actually doing good for the people who has done bad thing. And blame them to get them be ashamed is helping them and helping them getting them back to a new life. So from then on, that is uh, Bai Xiaoer lived happy and relieved. He started a new life. So benevolence has many layers of meaning. Kindness need to be good to good and be strong and strict to bad thing. That's true kindness. That's true benevolence. The end.